Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here, and today we are going to paint those beautiful unicorn. You can have a look here. Ah yes, I will show you a full step-by-step step from start to finish how to recreate those beautiful nails and almond shape. And also you can see me, I've got a new background. There is a video on the channel as well, how we had some fun with Olivia. And I hope you have enjoyed it. It was slightly something different. Of course, it doesn't mean I'm not going to uh, post the nail tutorials. There will be more and more coming up. Uh, that was just something uh, to keep us busy during the lockdown. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed it, really watching those uh, type of creative kind of a free time uh, videos. But let's start doing this beautiful unicorn nail. So I'm going to show you those kind of uh, rainbow um, ombre and rainbow glitter encapsulations on those nails. I will paint uh, this nail white because for the ombre we want to have a really nice uh, white background and it's always giving a better results. So that's the white color I'm going to use. It's 173 Tic Tac. It's a really nice white color. I'm just applying on the entire nail. So quite a lot of uh, you ask it me like how do I do it so I don't touch the skin around it and my nails are an absolutely a fantastic example of very difficult nails because I've got uh, really bad nail folds they really deep so each time I have to push them really strongly down otherwise like I've got product all over the skin and that was your concern, concern, guys, like how, how I do it so the skin is not touched with the ombre technique. Now, I'm not going to be overly too fussy how I apply my white, um, just because we are going to go with the colors on top of it. And that should do. I'm going to pop it into the lamp and give it a nice cure. And then we will also paint the white on the middle finger as well because that's where we are going to put the beautiful unicorn. And I rather to do it one nail by one. So if I will be working with the white and I'm really fussy about like my gel polish application, I would swap the nails like one hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. Pop it into the lamp and then on the ring finger we're going to use these colors for the ombre and you can see them on the side and here as well and I show you how to do it on the real person with the most difficult nail folds <laughs> so you don't touch the skin and if you didn't see this tutorial just search Dorota Palitska rainbow and ombre and it should show you up this uh, tutorial so I quite like I think this one, this combination for our nail, and we might try to go with that. So I'm going to apply nice purple on the top. Very close to the cuticle. Now um, I have inhibition layer from the white gel so I already have a slidey surface if you're working straight away with no color like we did on the tip on the previous tutorial just put a tiny bit of the base gel that will give you a nice slidey surface and this is going to be my second color roll those nail folds down Now another one. The four color ombre is the most difficult, like the more colors you've got, the more difficult it is. Uh, so four colors is pretty uh, difficult. The two colors are the easiest ones to create. Okay, and now I'm going to use this ombre brush. 
and we have to pick up our um, I won't be going probably two times just to get a better coverage but I have to pick up my uh, purple color first and then going into the pink so pick up on my brush no pressure at all it's a really time-consuming process now start blending the pink you can see if i press too hard then i'm creating the lines so very gentle movements okay then clean the brush and go over it again to get a really nice blend so lots of lots of motions almost no pressure and the longer you take the nicer results you will get okay then turn to the side and now just start blending the side and pushing the product to the side so this way you don't get it on the client's nails, uh, fingers. And you got a nice blend all over. Do the same on the on this side. so that's the beautiful ombre which we have created and now i can pop it into the lamp also i will show you what else we are going to do so that's a mermind effect and we will apply beautiful mermind effect on top of it and then that will make it look more kind of unicorn style so for mermind effect um, this one goes on top of the inhibition layer so it doesn't work on the dry top, it goes on top of the inhibition layer of the gel polish. So I can put that on the side. Just to accumulate the cure, I'm going to quickly paint the second layer of the white in here. Because that will be our new background for the unicorn. okay so that's my second layer pop it into the lamp and this way i will save a little bit of time uh, waiting so uh, if you do like those type of tutorials uh, let me know in the comments down below and you can also suggest what else you would like to see because i'm trying to produce all sort of different things uh, for you just to keep you busy and i'm happy uh, to see the channel is growing it's growing slowly actually because some of the tutorials got like maybe only a thousand views uh, but there are some other tutorials which got a little bit more, so uh, I'm kind of happier and happier uh, about it. Now that's the cure done, so that's the ombre, and I'm going to uh, dab in first the mermine powder. So dab, dab in, dab that in, and then start rubbing it in. And once I'm happy, I can just keep massaging it more into the nail. So this way it's kind of matching. Remove the excess of the pigment. I need to wrap a bit more on here. And 
and then we can apply top coat on this one but also i will apply the top coat on the uh, middle finger as well where we are going to paint the unicorn so just a bit of top coat sorry just so my hands don't shake And then the top coat on the glittery one. Pop it into the lamp. You can also see I just moved that about. I've got some colorful glitters here because uh, on the index finger we're going to encapsulate the glitters and i will show you how to do that as well so the easiest way to encapsulate the glitter and there are some tutorials already on the channel as well is when we encapsulate it in the gel but sometimes we get the client for a rebalance and we've got already nails on so uh, we would encapsulate it it's slightly different then we can encapsulate it in a top so these nails are cured and now we are going to encapsulate the glitter so I'm applying the gel polish, nice and thin layer, and now I'm going to do the glitter redesign. So I think it will be nice to put some purple in the corner here. I'm just putting some purple in the corner, dipping in my brush also in the chunkier glitter as well. So I want to have all sorts of different glitters. So I've got some purple. Then from purple we can go into the pink. And again pick up the chunkier one. I also want some blue. And some yellow. Okay, once I'm happy with this glitter application, I can take a clean sponge and just dab it in. So this way I will remove the sticking out parts of the glitter. Okay. We also want to add a tiny bit of some extra sparkle. As you can see it, so it's nice and sparkly. And what I'm going to do is I will just grab my mixing palette. Take a small brush and pick up a couple of the sparkles with the small brush. So I dip it in the brush in a gel top coat and just putting it on top. The star ones. And the last couple, just so they give it a better blink. Okay, take a sponge again, because you can see it on the black background now that the stars is sticking out. And if I take a sponge, I can flatten it really nicely out. So this way the glitter is not going to come off when we bath it. Okay, put it into the lamp. Uh, each time when you're doing a glitter encapsulation on the rebalance needles, uh, make sure you file them a little bit thinner because you will have an extra coats uh, of the top coats. So I can put the glitters on the side. And now we are going to encapsulate this uh, glittery needle with the top coat. Okay, 
so that's it ready i'm just going to put a decent amount of the top coat and yes you're right it is going to be rough uh, so i show you what i do so even if we put the top coat that's the same technique i would use for a gel polish on top of the natural nails so decent amount of the top coat put it into the lamp and then we are going to buff it and reapply the top coat so this way we get a really nice and smooth surface uh, rather than like any sticking out bits and pieces so i can tidy up the things a little bit and then i show you like how we buff the index finger and the last part probably the hardest one and the most time consuming will be the unicorn painting but i thought it would be nice to to show you something colorful something bright and uh, unicorn is just perfect for that so my tip is almost cure actually my finger and then i can show you how i make it nice and smooth so i'm just taking a file and touch up on the free edge like i want to make sure it's nicely shaped you have to be very gentle if you're using the file so you don't remove the glitter the buffers are usually better so once i have done the biggest bulk i'm using the buffer and i'm buffing to the point when it's safe to buff it so the glitter doesn't come off so keep buffing And then when we apply another top coat, it is just going to look much nicer. So I'm reshaping the free edge. I wanted it to be nice. Okay, buff it a bit more. Okay, just a couple more movements. And now I can remove the dust. So I show you uh, what else I do. Before I put the top coat, I clean it always with the blue scrub because this way I can see that I overfiled the glitter or I didn't. So um, this way I, I know if I'm missing any places before applying the top coat. And this nail, we need to uh, buff it as well. So I'm just going to buff it and we are going to paint the beautiful unicorn. You could not buff it and paint straight uh, into the white, uh, but I always quite like to do that. Same for the mermaid effect. If I apply two coats of the top coat, it's never going to come off. So scratch the free edge, buff the snail out as well. And we will put some Swarovski crystals on top of it just to make them even nicer. So that's another reason why I need to have them buffed a little bit. Okay, so let's move on into the next step. And now we are ready to paint the beautiful unicorn. So I'm going to use the paint on French gel. And this one is just brand new because I'm using it all the time for all the tutorials really nicely highly pigmented gel I'm going to pick up the scalp of that on my mixing palette and um, i give you the link to the in the description of this video as well so that's my paint on french actually i will take a few drops more so we make it pastel unicorn i think it will be nice to add some blue into that as well so some blue and let's do some different shade of purple too and some green why not the more the better 
Okay, so I've got a couple of the different colors. And we are going to start painting the unicorn face first. So I'm taking, I will just clean my nail quickly as well. So I've got some white and I'm going to indicate where the face of the unicorn is going to be. So first of all, it will be a splash of the color. Just a kind of shape of the head-ish. Just so I know where I am. And this way I will know what size to go for as well. Okay, so I can see I can go a little bit bigger. So a bit bigger on the head. But don't go too big because we also want to uh, squeeze in those beautiful hairs, what the unicorns have, all sort of rainbow colors. Now let's paint the neck. So if the head is here, the neck is going to go with this shape. So it looks like a wee splash of the color. Painting white on white might make it it's not as visible for you guys. But uh, in a minute we will add cameraman <laughs> showing me the thumb up. So that means it's pretty good. That's good. So Now once I have done that I can start perfecting the shape of the head. I can take a drop of the top coat. To smooth any imperfections. Also, I will start to highlight the things. So I'm going to take a drop of this pink, or this pink, and mix it with my white. Then I'm going to take some top gel, because we need that for fading the colors. So I have created very blush pink. I want to give a little shadow underneath of his neck. Just a little shadow. A little shadow. And a little shadow. Now let's blend that out. bit more darker underneath of the neck okay and this way we know where we are I have to give it a cure then now and work on the next layer actually we can do maybe the ear as well just before we start painting the hair so the ear is going to be in here and it's going to be nice and pink inside Okay. Pop it into the lamp. I'm going also to need some black for the eyes and we're going to use the foil design gel. This is a really nicely pigmented black. So just a drop of it on the side. That's my flash cure done, and we can move on into the next step. So our next step is to indicate where the eye is going to be. And I'm going to use, first of all, white for that. 
yes because it's easier and um, I'm not going to make any mistake then so the eye is going to be here and the drop of the beautiful blue pop it into the lamp just to freeze the gel polish it's good if you are going to do a couple of the flash cures uh, much quicker um, for you and you're not risking smudging or breaking the product and then we can take the black and look what I'm doing with my brush I'm preparing it to be really nice and thin okay nice and thin eyelashes And the tiniest one on the bottom, not sure if you can see them. <laughs> Pop it into the lamp again. And now we are going to do the black inside the eye. So we have freeze that. Now the black inside the eye. Pop it into the lamp again and the hairs the hairs are really easy to paint and they change a lot we still got some work to do on his face so for the hairs I'm going to lighten up my color so I'm mixing them with the paint on French just so they've got better consistency and this one as well And I want really nice pink around his face. The eye is still not finished. We need some light sparkles in there. And let's paint some hair. So prep my brush. And start painting the hair. So I've got some pink in here. Pink in there. A bit of pink in here. Let's do use some yellow. And that's already look much prettier once we have put the hair in there I'm mixing the purple now actually this purple cure I think I've got some some white is curing my gel so this one is hard solid now This is some purple. A bit more purple. We also need some blue.
and it's already starting looking so much nicer and cute with all those different colors okay add some green And add a little bit of the shadows on the face as well. We want to start making this face more visible. So I've got lots of top coat. And we want to indicate where the cheek is. Okay, he's going to have a wee nice in here so add those shadows and where the hairs are it's already start looking like we unicorn but the unicorn doesn't look like a unicorn if it doesn't have a horn so the horn is going to be a really nice and decent size some of it is on top of the hair and some of it is not going to be on top of the hair give it a flash cure just a couple of seconds those kind of freehand painting always takes such a long time but i thought we've got lots of time now so i thought i will show you something slightly more time consuming Okay, so I'm still working on my horn. Now let's concentrate on finishing those wee cute face. So his nose, her nose, unicorns, his or her is going to be here. Be very tiny, don't go too strong. And the mouth very tiny as well. You can also separate some hairs. But those lines are extremely thin, just to give it a little shadow. I have hardly any product on my brush. So almost no product. And don't worry if there will be some places where the paint doesn't uh, go over. You don't need it a lot. It's only tiny wee shadows. Okay, pop it into the lamp, giving a flash cure. Now we need to add beautiful sparkle inside the eye of the unicorn. So I'm just dipping in my brush in white. And I'm going to add him. An eye sparkle here and there okay so two sparkles on the eye pop it into the lamp if you're painting such a small detail it's better to pop it into the lamp so when you're working on two hands it's much easier always and then the unicorn horn 
so I'm going to put yellow right on the top then the pink ombre edge like so we've got nice ombre so I'm just doing lots of movement of the brush tiny quick movements to create an ombre horn and the darker one on the board so we have created an ombre horn we can add also a little bit more shadow inside the ear give a bit more texture on the cheeks Pop it into the lamp again. I also think like it will look really nice if we add some sparkles into the hair. So we're going to do that too. So so tiny we star and couple of the dots. Try to pick up the places which you're the less happy with. And we also need to finish off the horn. So I'm just dipping in my brush in black again. And I'm going to add those wee uh, twisted parts. Okay, so we've got the unicorn horn here. Adding those sweet twists. So you can tell it is a horn. And that was my brush dirty with the black. And that's another reason why I like to flash cure it. See, because I have bring some black in here, I can wipe it off easily because my previous layers have been cured and this is really important I feel like um, the pink went a little bit too heavy in this part exactly this part here so I'm just fixing it with a little bit more white okay and that's better now again last touch of the black because I want to touch up some of the hair So you can see, I will just twist my finger this way, just so it's easier. Perfect. And now I can add the sparkle in those places too. I think I'm happy with my unicorn. I just need to add a tiny bit of, on the background. So pop it into the lamp and the last step we are going to do is add the same kind of uh, flying wee dots. Just so it looks magical. With all sorts of different colors. So some blue, also some purple as well. Pop it into the lamp and then use some white to do the white sparkles. I think that's just kind of finish it off. So it's like I'm flying magic. I'm going to just touch up because I'm always very fussy around the cuticle area. Yeah, and I think I'm pretty happy with the way the 
unicorn turn out i can pop it into the lamp actually no i'm not happy <laughs> i could spend another three hours on it no i'm kidding i will just uh, outline yes that's much better so that gives a little bit more definition sorry guys i need to camera man is now like oh my goodness don't move the tiniest black line ever pop it into the lamp and then apply the top coat <laughs> yeah i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial something slightly different and something pretty time consuming uh, but as i say we all got plenty of time so i thought it will be something different to show you and there's also a tutorial of this nails there is a tutorial of um, rational mons to at all square like so lots of different things uh, for you to watch if you didn't watch uh, those previous tutorials just go back and and watch them because they're pretty good i would say as well i put lots of heart into all those recording and also a big thank you again to all the members which have joined the membership plans because i'm really um, appreciating your your time and support you are giving to me as well so i'm applying the top coat to make the unicorn even prettier a uh, couple gems in here and the top cut on this ones too so for the gems i'm going to use the neil perfect brush on resin and i've got the swarovski crystals here uh, we are not going to overdo it with the crystals because like the design itself is really rich so i'm just going to put a couple of the tiniest gems so the flash cure done the glue so i just quickly show you how to do that as well In the meantime, when you're waiting for me to get ready, you can hit the share button so the others can see this uh, unicorn tutorial as well, please. <laughs> so the crystals are going to go in here. I apply a tiny bit of the resin, brush on your glue, and then pick up the crystals. So I really don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo it and now she's moving because she wants to place the bigger blink huh <laughs> if the glue dry out just add a drop more yes the bigger crystals are better Okay, so I have to wait for the glue to dry out, otherwise I will damage my brush. But I've got still this needle to put the top coat on it. And look what's happening with the glitter. It's nicely popping up. And then this one is dry, so I can apply the top coat as well. And this way we have finished this set. So I'm just going to give it a final cure and show you the, the finished look. So I have prepared also lots of other different tutorials um, for you. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss them. Also, there is a bell notification. If you hit this button, you will be notified always from every single tutorial I do. Um, and then you don't miss uh, totally any video okay so that's my new skewer and that's the final look so i will just clean them apply the cuticle oil and take a final shot but i do really hope you have enjoyed that oh this is so cute unicorn thanks guys for watching glittery hacks and for now